Hello everyone. Welcome to Mark Bank. Let us solve some problems from puzzle test. The beauty of solving puzzle test problems is you get questions in bulk in puzzle test problems. So a set would probably be coming with four to five questions each. And in any banking examination or or government examination or in CAT for that matter. you will always be getting at least two puzzle test sections or you will be having a total of 10 problems or more from this particular section only what do they ask in puzzle test problems to make you understand let me throw this data on to you so here it says that There are three friends A, B, and C, and these three friends are living in three different cities, P, Q, and R. They have three different professions: doctors, lawyers, and engineers. And but it says that not necessarily in the same order. So what did I say? There are three people living in three different cities. p q and r and their professions are lawyer engineer and doctor but not in the same order that is what we need to find out so let us see what what information is given to us a lives in city p and he is not a doctor another statement is c does not live in city r the third information is the one who lives in city q is a lawyer now the question that that is being asked over here is who is the doctor and in which city does he live in now in order to solve such problems we should always be writing our information very systematically I have tried to make a chart for you over here. This is this is where before before drafting the chart, you should also be knowing as to how many factors the problem is talking about. This problem comes out with three variables: one, people A, B, and C; their professions, doctor, engineer, and lawyer; and the rest of the thing the city so we will be having constructing we will construct this information set over here now we will try to put our our information because writing information systematically is much more important in solving puzzle test problems now let us see how do we write it a lives in city p so A lives in city P. So say they are from a ticket. A lives in city P. So R and Q for sure cannot stay. A cannot stay in city R and city Q since he lives in city P. How about B and C? A lives in city P. So in city P, B cannot stay and C cannot stay. What is the idea? The idea is. the moment you get one click in the row and in the column of that corresponding set the all will be crossed as simple as that now let us see another piece of information over here c does not live in city r so c doesn't Stay in city R. Now, can you appreciate that since A lives in city P, he cannot stay in R. Now, the second direct information is C does not live in city R. If C doesn't stay in city R, who is going to stay in city R? B is going to stay. Now, since 
B stays in city R, Q cannot stay. Now, Q cannot stay in A, Q cannot, I mean A cannot stay in Q, B cannot stay in Q. So, who is going to stay in city Q? C is going to stay. And the third very much, and in, in the first piece, it also said that A is not a doctor. Now, the third information says that the one who lives in city Q is a lawyer. So, who, who is living in city Q? C stays in city Q and since he is a lawyer, we will get it right click. Now, in the row and in the column of this corresponding cell, rest of them will be cross now let us try to appreciate that how how quickly are we getting the information since a is not a doctor and c is also not a doctor who is going to be a doctor b is going to be a doctor and now since b is a doctor b cannot be anything else now b is not an engineer C is not an engineer. Who is the engineer? Only A is the engineer. Did we have to write the information? Sometimes we face data redundancy problem. We write the same piece of information time and again and we do not know how to use it. Hence, in order to solve puzzle test problems, this that I have demonstrated over here probably is one of the best technique to write the information systematically because you don't even have to think more you will be getting information step by step the only thing is you need to know how to write it and that is a matter of three four questions and you will start doing it very easily I hope I'm making some sense over here if you get any doubt, if you got any query, you are more than welcome to write us on faculty at the rate of mockbank.com. I will see you in some other video. There will solve some more problems on puzzle test. Till then, bye bye and thank you for watching this video.